Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylitchfromstudios.co.uk and in today's video, just a quick one. Um, I got this question uh, from somebody in the Presonus Studio One group, I think it was, or maybe it was the Home Studio Trainer uh, Studio One support group. It was one of the one of the two uh, uh, Facebook groups that I hang out at most often, and somebody wanted to know how you can very quickly. Um, edit the velocities of MIDI drums when they are recorded so that you can have like a gradual increase in volume, kind of like a crescendo effect um, without having to change each individual drum hit one by one, which would take... You can do it that way and you probably end up with a slightly more human result, but it does take a bit longer. So how do we go about this without having to go through that? So allow me to show you because it's actually really, really easy. Uh, and it's it, it amazed me actually just how easy it really is. And I'm sure not too many people would know this particular thing you can do. So watch carefully. So here is my little mocked up drum track. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to make that um, drum fill at the end, the pounding on the toms and the kick drum, uh, a little less robotic sounding and a little bit more musical. So we're going to have a little crescendo going on. So this is how we do it. We come down to over here where your tools in the MIDI editor are, having opened the MIDI editor. If you don't know how to do that, just double click the event and because it's MIDI, the MIDI editor, it opens up by default. And then when you go to these tools here, this is the guy you want here, the paint tool. So we select that. Then we go over to our velocities and we decide how quiet we want it to start. Let's say we want it to start there. So I'm going to click there. Oops. And I'm going to drag that so it gets gradually louder. Then I'm going to let go. So, when I play my drum track, if I go back to the pointer, listen to how this uh, fill at the end now sounds. See? Much more interesting. It's got a lot more intensity than uh, the first way. So, let's do that again so that we are sure I'm going to do control Z and that restores all of those velocity values to their original setting. So let's do bef let's do before. All right, now let's do after. So we're going to go back, select the paint tool. We're going to draw it in like that. I'm not very good at drawing with a hand or with, with uh, a mouse. So sorry about that. So here is after. So sounds much more intense, much more musical now that we've got some dynamics going on there. So there you go, that's how you do it. You use the paint tool in the MIDI editor, you start with how quiet you want to go, and then you just drag that line up until you've got your gradual crescendo. And it's really cool. So there you go, I hope you found that helpful and useful. If you have, please click the like button. And also, if you find all of my videos useful, hit that subscribe button as well, it really helps me out. And you also get to join my community of subscribers and you also get to find out about all of my new latest videos as soon as they drop. And also you get to hear about new things that I'm going to be doing, like live streams. That's something that I have uh, in the works coming up. I'm working on how I'm going to do that uh, at the moment. Uh, I'm kind of flip-flopping flip a little bit between YouTube live streams and Facebook live streams and uh, Google Hangouts, that kind of stuff, is kind of what's going on in my head. 
but um, it, I'm probably going to start with YouTube live streams in the next coming few weeks. So keep an eye out for those and bring along your questions and I would be happy to answer all your questions on mixing, mastering, recording, Studio One, whatever around those subject areas. So uh, drop me a line at johnny at johnnylipsomstudios.co.uk and I'd be happy to help you. So until next time, check out my website, hit the like button, hit subscribe, all will be good.